Okay, coming up next is Dark of the Woods by Dean Kuntz. On the front it says, Fly Natives for Victorious Humanity is coming. And then um, that's it's actually a nice double of, oh, sorry about the glare, of Soft Come the Dragons, uh, another book of short stories. So it's kind of cool that this is the only one, I think, where Kuntz had both sides uh, of a nice double. What did I write in my synopsis here? Give me a second. <laughs> the title of this I thought was a little bit irrelevant as these woods that are dark in the story are only mentioned on one page as a psychological image. But that becomes a later thing in Kuntz where his titles could have been anything you know, sometimes, you know, and they were often chosen by the publisher as we've seen. Uh, this book reminds me of The Family Guy a lot where Betty White records herself reading Peter's porn, or what is Peter Rodica, remember this? It should have been called, oh man, you should have seen this one hot chick. She was totally Spanish, or Italian. But in this case, it would have been, you know, she's totally an alien. But I like this stupid cover art. Look, this hippie girl is doing some goofy hand gesture, strutting around on a precipice or something. Uh, there's a somewhat annoying theme that comes up, of course, in a lot of sci-fi. The hero immediately, fall, immediately, you know, falling in love with someone. Uh, and there's some convenient, subservient female, you know, it, it, it's as a plot device who just conveniently goes along with everything. But uh, that's not too bad. Though, but nearly all of his books have it in some way or another. Quotes. He keeps, he keeps doing it, and somehow it works. I feel like a lot of the women in Kuntz's books are named Rita for some reason, as they are in here. There's also, I think, a Rita in Prison of Ice uh, and Hanging On. Two other obscure books he has, I think, uh, that are hard to find. Anyway, moving on. Let's see. Uh, on page 153 of Catherine Ramblin's biography, uh, writer's biography of Kuntz, she says, Dean was 23 when he wrote Dark of the Woods. One of his early attempts to show how good and evil can issue from a single source, in this case, the woods. Since he was under the influence of Freudian interpretation, we can assume the woods here represent the murky regions of the subconscious. And in fact, this novel re reveals something of Dean's own inner conflicts and desires. Um, and then Catherine goes on to uh, write a synopsis of the book. It says, a famous historical novelist of the future Stopher Davis arrives on the planet Demos, ostensibly to write propaganda as a cover for the unwarranted genocide of a winged species of people who had once inhabited it. Instead, he intends to expose this atrocity. A few females of that race are still alive, and he falls in love with one named Leia, an act of political rebellion. He discovers that her race had been superior to humans and their ability to experience joy. She is like a butterfly, lighter and freer, and Stouffer can only take this form by shedding his former ways. Leia teaches him true intimacy, and he decides to stay with her despite the cost. They flee together into the woods, but Stouffer is killed. Leia transfers his brain into a new body, yet they must take an even stronger measures to elude those who want to destroy them as they metamorph into bird-like creatures. Leia has regained her lost fertility, and they make plans to reproduce. In this society, the ability to commit violence has been programmed out of people, yet it remains latent and later resurfaces in Stouffer as a manic rage, which allows him to break through his conditioning. It's a novel about metamorphosis, both physical and emotional. It is also about the remaking of families by joinings of different species. In it, Dean has worked with the feelings he has about his own inner darkness, its heaviness, and his need to lighten up in life, which can occur in the company of someone he loves. M meaning his wife, Jurda, here. Uh, so not a particularly uh, interesting novel. Uh, I don't know, I wrote it, I read it in like three hours. I mean, it's not a very long novel. Um, but it's, it's okay. It wasn't too bad. Uh, now coming up next, uh, the Dark Symphony. I'll get to Soft Come the Dragons, yeah, 